four fingers. Oh! Today was a good thing, collectors. Today, a very, very good thing happened to me. I, I, I mean, if you clicked on the video, you know why you're here, but it happened. I finally found Tatsu in store. So look, start checking your stores now. Uh, he is street dated for the 27th. I went to the Walmart that was two minutes from my house, and the guy said they are in today, but they're street dated for the 27th. They'll be out tomorrow. I was like, all right. 15 minutes down the road, I know there's another Walmart. I went, and lo and behold, they had one Tatsu sitting on the shelf waiting for me, and I am just so happy. There's a few reasons why I'm happy. One, we finally got an official NECA Tatsu in the Ninja Turtle collection, right? That's, that's great. Everyone's been wanting it. Everyone for years, for years. Even before Secret of the Ooze really got under the way, under the way, underway. Under where? Look, and long story short, here's what's going on. They had a lot of likeness issues going on with the actor and all that stuff. Somehow they made it work. I think I know how they made it work. I, I, I'm not 100% sure on this, but before we get into all that stuff, you know how we like to do it on Moscato Bot Collects. We're gonna go over the packaging, the accessories, the figure, the articulation, all that fancy, fancy stuff. So stay tuned, you guys. We have Tatsu from NECA Toys in hand. Here we go. I guess I could have put a sound effect, but anyways, taking a closer look at the packaging, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tatsu. Notice? Picture of the figure, not any clips from the movie or anything like that. It's just a straight up picture of the figure. You see some neck of foot soldiers here in the background. Really cool. I like the red and the blacks. It gives that tone of rage that Master Tatsu demands. He demands respect or he's going to kick you right in the face. Possibly kill you. In fact, I think that was originally in the script that they were going to straight up kill the foot soldier that Tatsu, you know, Master Tatsu, please, stop. Well, I, I just show you the clip. Master Tatsu, stop, no. please, please, stop. Please, no. Yeah, yeah, that guy was dead, but there we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tatsu, bottom of the box, you guys. All the beautiful people at NECA Toys, thank you guys so much for making Tatsu finally happen. Here's the UPC. Go ahead and pause that if you need it. NECA Real Toys, don't put it in your holes, you will die. Side of the box, Tatsu. NECA, I think that's the insignia on the Dragon Doji. Other side of the box, we have Tatsu up here at the top. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, NECA Toys, that red and black going around through the whole theme of the box. Top of the box, choking! Don't choke on your toys! Don't put them in your holes, or you will die. Ages 14 and up, it's on the box, people. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tatsu, NECA! In the box, you guys, we have all these great product shots of the figure looking really cool. And we also have a bunch of different accessories that we haven't seen in the movie, but we saw in some of the product shots and stuff from TMNT. So that's where a lot of these things come from, which is pretty cool. I don't know why I'm doing this little squeaky voice when I'm trying to explain things, but I am. Includes interchangeable heads and hands, sword, sheath, open fan, close fan, Oni mask, training sword, foot mask, shredder, and foot soldier figure sold separately. Go ahead and open this for you guys real quick. You can see the window shot of the figure right there, the window packaging, everything that comes inside. Tatsu right there, my chubby face in the background. <laughs> All right, guys, without further ado, let's get this open. Trusty knife, don't cut yourself. I like to go right for the bottom. I prefer to enter through the back door. <laughs> go ahead and take that out. I'm gonna go. Oh, first thing I do, I smell right in there because all that plastic goodness was all trapped inside. Then I'll grab the figure. I'll sniff the hell out of that. Very good looking. Awesome. Here's everything that comes inside of the window packaging. I like to cut these tabs with skizzers from the back. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Tatsu from behind. There we go. I think he's free, uh, just the one? Yeah, look at that. He is free now. I wanna check everything, oh my lord. This is, 
my first time feeling him in hands. And oh wow, they even gave him the bald head, five o'clock shadow. Now, the sculpt actually is pretty good on the head, because you look at the actor, he has kind of like that pointy, sharp, bald head, you know? Th this one looks pretty good. I like the frowny face head. The likeness is actually kind of nice from the side. Wow. It, it ain't bad. It ain't bad. I, I don't think it's 100% accurate to the film. It looks enough like it, and that's fine for me. Uh, the shoulder guards here, they, they feel really good. They're a little bendy. Uh, I mean, a little rubbery, but nice. I mean, they feel rubbery, even though it's, it's plastic. That is great. Oh, oh, oh my god, the detail's already on this guy. Pants feel great. Uh, I can't describe it, but it kind of feels silky. Silky smooth silkness going on here, kids. This feels very nice. The texture on it is great. The sculpt, my lord. Ooh, look at that, too. Little foot insignia right there. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm gonna look at some pictures side by side here in a second. But, uh, like, this looks like Tatsu, right? Are, are the colors on the actual, like, cloth part different in the movie? Is that just me? We'll take a look at that later on. But otherwise, pants look good. I mean, go ahead and pull this up and see what he's got packed in. Looks less like a regular foot soldier on the bottom. Careful with... Bends how it's supposed to. Foot bends how it's supposed to. Really good. Can rotate all the way around on a hinge. We got ball pegs. Really cool. Pull that down. Splits about that far with the fabric. You can see like that. Go ahead and bend that with the actual fabric. Bends great. Liking that. This foot, awesome. Bends how it's supposed to. Can we rotate? Oh, I get so scared with NECA. There we go, baby! And their quality of control over just the past, like, five years and listening to fans has definitely improved. Definitely improved. Head, I mean, normal articulation on a ball joint. Rotate side to side. Down that far. Up about that far. So... Not too far up, but you get a lot of down, which is good. And side to side from the back. Go ahead and pop off that. You can see the head. And while I got you here, we'll just go ahead and quickly take out the alternate head. Because let's face it, all the other accessories are cool, but I'm, I'm probably not going to use them because in the movie, Tatsu didn't really have any of that stuff we can focus. But there's the other head sculpt. It's not too bad. You know, the sculpt is perfect, you know, I'm just, I don't know, something's a little bit off in the face to me. This one's definitely better, in my opinion. It's not bad, you know, it's like 90% perfect. That's the best way I could describe it. There we go. We'll go ahead and we'll pop this one on just to show you guys how it looks on the figure. Cool. Not too shabby, you know, you can get the old, oh, talk. <laughs> yeah, that, that. That song's actually called Tatsu Attack. It's like my favorite song in all of Ninja Turtles. I love that score. Just checking the hinges out real quick. On the hinge. Great. Can we pop that out without breaking anything? Yes. Pops back in. Like so. Awesome. Great, grand, wonderful. Single jointed elbows. Yep, single jointed elbows. Let's go ahead and show you that. All right, is this long enough though to do the whole Tatsu? Yeah, I don't think we can get the whole cross arm thing where he puts his arms like deep inside of his sleeves and the sleeves are hanging down. So that's kind of a bummer because that's how I wanted to have him posed up on the shelf with his arms crossed. And obviously, this had to look like more. Mm. I mean, half of this dude's lines in the movie are just a bunch of grunts, but... Just a quick look at the figure. Let's go ahead and take out the accessories real quick. So we have the open fan, which is really cool. It's from, I think, one of the cards? One of the trading cards or whatever? I actually have a bunch of them on my shelf over there. But uh, I think it was maybe in the product shots or something like in the books or whatnot when 
um, the movie was actually coming out. But there is a shot with Tatsu holding the fan. And it really shows that NECA are fans themselves, and they will deep dive into the lore and how the movies were made to make a figure as accurate as possible. Here's the sword that he comes with. He never uses weapons in the movie, but, I mean, cool. That's cool. A training sword. Awesome. I don't know what this is. It's kind of bendy. Not really. So there's, there's that, whatever that is, a belt. Here is the Oni mask, and that actually can go over Tatsu's face like so. Unless I drop it because I'm trying to do it on camera. There we go. That's how that looks. If you want Tatsu like this on your shelf, personally, I don't know why you would. We all want the bald dude, right? That's that's what I want. I want my I want Tatsu. This is a cool accessory. This is the foot mask that Tatsu actually hands to Master Shredder during the, uh, I guess, coronation of becoming a foot soldier in the Foot Clan? Or Foot Graduation? That's kind of cool. That I like. That'd be cool to throw up and do some photos with your Shredder and some foot soldiers and whatnot. Kind of recreate the graduation scene, you know? This is your family. I am your father. Then lastly, we get a bunch of alternate hands. So we get some flat... Fighting hands, uh, grippy hand, and some more open hands for grabbing the swords. Really cool. They also threw in a little snack for me. I'm just going to go ahead and eat that real quick. So in conclusion, my fellow collectors, is Tatsu worth it? Absolutely. You know, having them in hand, at least for me, I feel like definitely the likeness is so much better than what the picture showed. We haven't had really too many actual like product shots from NECA. This kind of was a shadow drop out of nowhere. Hitting Walmarts, I mean, I think it was hitting Walmarts like three weeks ago randomly. I know uh, I saw on Twitter or X, whatever the hell you want to call it nowadays. I still call it Twitter. I don't care. It's Twitter to me. Some dude found it like on an offer up thing and he only paid, I think like 25 bucks for it or something. You know, I, something fell off the truck at the factory or the warehouse or something. I don't know. But that was the first time a lot of people have seen Tatsu. Everyone was kind of wondering if it's fake, if it's not, is it legit? What's going on? There's been so many customs. Um, it's just great to have it in hand. You need it for the collection. But the reason why you're watching this video is not for the fat guy in the camera, it's for the toy. And you, my opinion, get him. He's great. Could the likeness have been a little bit better in the face? Absolutely. I might just be blowing smoke up your ass here, but I'm just gonna tell you what I think happened. Since there's been no official, like, confirmation, unless at Comic-Con now, I don't know if they've talked about Tatsu. I know he's actually out there on the floor. I don't know. I haven't seen any videos of NECA, you know, stating, hey, we actually have 100% approval from the family and we could use his likeness or whatever. That's great. It, it, to me, it's almost perfect. It's 90% perfect. And I think they did the homage route, kind of like they did for the Flash Gordon movie two-pack that first came out like three or four years ago, whatever that was. That's the route I think they went to make this happen. And coming back to the packaging, I can see why people were confused because it was a shadow drop. NECA said it's not happening so many times, and I love surprises. I, I don't know. The, the box is cool, but it's also lacking a little bit from the other packaging, if you will, from the other figures. Maybe that's just me. I, I don't know. It's, it's more like a shock, but it just seems so bland. Like, no description or anything like that from Turtles 1 and or Turtles 2. At the end of the day, I'm happy. It's almost perfect. The accessories, they're, they're cool. Not needed. I just needed hands and a couple of heads. I wish we did get a gritting teeth kind of head face sculpt thing expression. Would have been cool. Not a big deal. Overall, it's great. Articulation, general neck articulation. I kind of went over that a little bit. The accessories are okay. So if I had to rate this completely, I'm going to give them four mo heads out of five. Uh, I got I to knock off a little bit because... And it's just my personal opinion. The likeness is almost there. It's so close. I know I keep saying that, but it is so close. It is... Mm, almost. Almost. And I'm still so happy to have it. That's not breaking this figure for me at all. The articulation, general articulation for a NECA figure. Single jointed elbows is kind of the standard for regular kind of human figures, you know. Um, 
I don't know why they didn't do double jointed. I know the uh, first Casey Jones did, but maybe they would have had to gone with that gross elbow thing again. It is what it is. Articulation is there, though. The clothing, the cloth, it's great. Sculpt, I mean, beautiful sculpt work here on the back of the uh, rest of the clothes or whatever. It's just obviously plastic, but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm loving it. Get hunting, guys. Hit up your Walmarts. I tried doing a store pickup for a store that was about 30 miles away from me. Order went through, and then an hour later they canceled it. So either they didn't get to it fast enough, or they went with the whole street date thing, well, the 27th on the Saturday. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just happy that one Walmart told me no. I went to the next one, and they had it on the shelf. Sked hunting. That's going to do it for this one, Collector. So thank you all so much for watching. To all our one Moscato bots, you all stay classy. And we will see you all in the next one, which hopefully it's pretty soon. I'm excited. I'm getting uh, getting back into the whole YouTube toy video thing. So let's do this, you guys. Happy hunting. Be safe. I love you all. Moscato bots, roll out.